Oh, we are, oh, this is my son. We are day six into our... Um, coronavirus. No, it's, we've not got the coronavirus. We're day six into our self-isolation. Um, I'm Music Mon. I yeah. am a music teacher and singer, a musician. And um, I found these this whole current crisis quite challenging for my mental health it's affecting my sleep it's affecting my outlook on life <laughs> um i currently have lost the majority of my income in a matter of like seven days um because i can't gig i can't sit, go to pubs and clubs and sing the place where i have a studio um the music venue that I work at has closed sensibly and seems to be one one of the few businesses that are actually taking the government guidelines seriously. Um, I have been in the house for six days with my two children, one of which you've just seen. My daughter's there, as you can see on the tablet, and my husband is working from home and has just gone upstairs. So I've decided that I'm going to make the best of this situation. Um, I'm involved in political discussion online with some of my Facebook friends, mostly my boss, <laughs> who has been putting quite a lot of funny, valid um, face points about the crisis on Facebook. Um, and he's called his... Uh, anecdotes I'll say or his, his, his opinions or his soapbox or whatever you want to call it um, is it COVID-19 more on watch because there's so many people not taking this crisis seriously um, I think the point that I want to make about this is that not to lose hope there are as much as there are very greedy and selfish people in the world, there are people like me and my husband and my friends that are good people that want to get through this crisis as quickly and as safely as we can. Um, so I'll be posting um, updates, my corona diaries, um, on my YouTube channel, Music Killamon. I'll be doing it on my social media as well, which... I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit anxious. I've got anxiety and depression. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit anxious about doing because I am so concerned about what people think of me. But to be honest, I think in this current climate, I, I don't think it's going to matter. So, um, so yeah, my first thing that I'm going to do today is do some Billy Blank's Tybo. I've had my children read me a story today, each from books that they're reading. Um, Mia's been... Mia, what are you doing? Hang on a minute. Mia, what are you doing? Tell people what you're doing. She's she's playing a game, so she's doing autonomous learning. Is it an educational game? Yeah. What? Tell me about it's the doctors. education. It's doctors. So, yeah. Well, that looks like dental work at the moment. Dentists and doctors. What's the game called if people want to get it for their kids? What's it called? No. Doctor Kids, it's called. It's an app you can get on Google Play Store, I think. I don't know how they've managed to do it. So, um, but yeah, so I'll be posting like updates of the activities that we've been doing. I'm going to do some music later, sing, sing to you, um, and then I'll get my kids to do something quite fun as well, um, just so that do you know what. I am a very spiritual person. I believe in God and I, I believe that the Almighty is is there for us. So I'm not I'm gonna try my hardest not to panic and just trust that, you know, that God will help us through this. I mean to be honest, he already is because there's people like me that are trying to be nice to people and trying to treat people with love and kindness and respect, not with contempt and greed and anger which is quite a lot of people who are who are scared i know you're scared but at the end of the day we're all in the same boat the majority of us are in the same boat so just be nice okay over and out